He's, he is coming back for a pure bride. The scriptures speak of the church as being the bride of Christ. And Jesus is coming back for a pure bride who's kept her garments spotless and white. But unfortunately now, most of what we see, the visible church is a dirty bride. Very, very dirty bride. The public churches are telling people that they can live lives of sin and remain in their sin and still have hope of heaven. That is false. They need to exhort people to repent. But they're not doing that because all they want is your money. They're not interested in your souls. They're not interested in whether or not you go to heaven or hell. The churches are actually leading people to hell. They are just, they are vehicles to take people to hell. They're telling people that they can continue in their drunkenness. As a matter of fact, many churches have bars in the churches. They have annual events where, they, where the alcohol flows like water and they're making money off people's drunkenness, which the scriptures say that drunkards will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And churches are selling this stuff. That is wicked. They're telling the people that they can live in sexual immorality. They are blessing adulterous remarriages. They are blessing same-sex marriages. Churches these days are blessing abortion clinics. This is wickedness. So do not depend on what your pastor says. Pick up the Bible and read it for yourself. Read the words of Jesus Christ and trust in Jesus. Follow Jesus. Be a Christian. Don't be a Lutheran or a Methodist or a Baptist or a Mennonite or a Wesleyan or a Calvinist or whatever else you got. Be a follower of Jesus Christ. Learn what Jesus said. Learn what He requires of us. And do it. If you want to have life, you must follow Jesus. Jesus said that He was the way and the truth and the life and that no one would see the Father unless they followed Him. He is the door. No one, can, no one can enter the sheepfold unless they go through Jesus. He is the door. He's also the shepherd. He is the good shepherd. He exhorts us to follow Him. Don't follow the blind guides that are in many churches that are telling you, so yeah, you just come here week after week and give us your money and you don't have to change a thing. That's false. Jesus said, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. By no means. He said, assuredly I say to you, very dogmatic, assuredly I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. So he's very dogmatic about that. Have you been converted? Has there been a change in your life? Have you turned from living in wickedness in order to follow Jesus? That is something that is demanded of you. Jesus said, Assuredly I say to you, unless you receive the kingdom of God as a little child, you will by no means enter it. Have you received the kingdom of God as a little child? Have you in humbleness and, and, and sincerity humbled yourself before the Lord and submitted to His authority, to His kingship? Have you received the kingdom of God as a little child? Jesus said, As surely I say to you, unless you receive the kingdom of God as a little child, you will by no means enter it. These are the words of Jesus Christ, the loving Jesus. Many people think Jesus was a long-haired hippie who went around giving people hugs. It's not true. He went around calling people to repentance. He said, unless you repent, you will perish. Many people have this idea that God accepts them unconditionally. That is a lie from hell. God's Son said, unless you repent, you will perish. So it's Repent or it's perish. 
And to repent is more than just to change your mind and believe that Jesus is the Son of God. To repent is associated with a change in life. It is to get a new life, to be a new creature in Christ. That is what it means to follow Jesus, to be regenerated, to be born again, to be washed of your sins in the blood of Jesus Christ. The King shall come in glory, His conquering cross we hail. The power of His sight.